In this video, we're going to discuss the carry object behavior. Alright, so let's take a look around. This is my county fair. I'm just going to help myself to some free popcorn here. I can just pick this up and carry it around the scene and enjoy my popcorn. And we can play a game. We can set this gently right there. Now let's try getting ourselves a ball. There we go. And if I aim this right, I can knock these bottles down. Let's take a, let's give it a try. Oh, got one. Let's try again. One more throw. Nice. Not too bad. All right. Takes a little practice, but you get the idea. So let's take a look at that and see how it's done. So the first thing we need to know is that the carry object behavior is actually a global behavior. So what does that mean? What that means is we can set it really on any object. Here you can see I, I took a brick and I just sized it up to make it a, a little platform here. And I applied the behavior onto the brick. But I didn't actually pick up the brick. I picked up the balls, picked up the popcorn. So really what it does is it makes all objects potentially uh, carryable. Right? Not all objects can be carried, but it, it comes down to the settings, which we'll talk about here in a moment. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first, we have our, our prompt text. We saw some of that. If we press the Q or if we press the left mouse button, that picks up and, and carries the object. And then you saw when I set the popcorn down, I just released the left mouse button and that set it down gently. Um, we have our pickup range. That's just the distance between the, the player's body and the object in question, which I think kind of def uh, depends on what it is, right? The the distance between me and a ball, since it's so small, is going to be different than, say, the, the distance between me and a barrel, which is much bigger as far as its size. So just dial that in. It took a little practice getting that just right. So you'll, you'll have to dial that in to suit your needs and what you're trying to do. We have the max pickup weight, which is just the amount of weight my character can physically pick up. So the default is 100. I just left it there. Every object that you put in your scene actually has a weight to it. It's by default, it's always 100. For instance, this ball, if I were to click on it, and uh, you can see the ball itself doesn't have any behavior to it, uh, but it does have a weight. So if we go into the developer section, and we scroll down a little bit here, the weight of the object is only five. So it's well within my, my range, so I can pick that up. Uh, so let's go back to this behavior real quick. We'll finish this. So the max pickup size, that's just the size of the object itself. So again, you, know, you could have a very small object that's very heavy, like a safe, right? Or you could have a huge object, like say a bouncy uh, ball castle uh, which is big but not that heavy either way maybe you're not picking the whole thing up by yourself right that's what the relationship between those two sliders is for uh, we have the release text and that's just you know what you get when you have an object in hand uh, so whether you're going to press r or press left mouse button to, to release or drop the object uh, or uh, release the right mouse button to throw it if you've picked it up with the right mouse button you re just release the right right mouse button and you throw it um, that is a lot of fun as soon as i started playing with this behavior that's like the first thing i wanted to do is throw objects around so that was a lot of fun uh, this checkbox here rearm weapon what does that mean so if i had a weapon armed uh, when I picked up the object, the weapon would go away in lieu of the object. The object would now be in my hands. Once I let go of the object one way or the other, uh, this checkbox indicates whether or not I would instantly rearm or if I'd have to, like, say, you know, press a button to rearm. Uh, I didn't have a weapon in this case. I, didn't, I just left it unchecked. The diagnostics, uh, we've seen that before in other behaviors. Basically what it does, it's actually really very useful. Uh, what it does is uh, shows some text on the screen that tells you what's going on with that object that you're pointing at. And it can be really useful for indicating whether or not the object is cooperating with you in, as far as the behaviors is concerned. Let me show you an example. So if I go and check this box and run my scene go you can see the text there on the left hand side 
things. And if we if we cursor over this popcorn, you can see nothing shows up on these popcorns over here. It's not until I get over on the right hand side and you can see the text shows up. So the difference between this popcorn and that popcorn is this one I can pick up, that one I can, right? And I think that has to do with the way these are all stacked real close together. Um, this one's on the edge, so it was just easier. I could, I could pick it up, get a hold of it, and maybe throw it at that guy. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's what the diagnostics does. Check that box and turn that off. Okay. So, and then we have a sound slot. That's just, you know, it's common if you, if you want a sound slot. Maybe it's a heavy object and you want them to like, you know, or something like that. You could put a sound in there for picking up that object. And then each individual object, like I mentioned before, has its own weight. So we already looked at the baseball. The baseball is five. Um, and so with these glass bottles, what I did was I made their, ob their uh, object weight one each. And the reason I did that is because when I threw the ball, I wanted the ball to impact the bottles and knock them down. If I made the bottles heavy, then the ball would impact the bottles and then just bounce off. Um, so you want to make sure that the relationship between the objects that you're interacting with makes sense. The lighter the object, the farther you're going to throw it, right? So even if I could pick up a big rock, that doesn't mean I can throw it as far as I could a baseball. Um, but that's it. That's everything you really need to know about the carry object behavior. I think it's got a lot of really great uses. You could use it to set objects onto a weight scale, or you could pick up an object and move it out of the way to open up a door, any number of different possibilities for that. But this is the first thing that came to mind when I thought about throwing objects was, it was a county fair. So I thought I'd try to set that up for you. Uh, but that's it. That's the whole video. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new, please be sure to click the like button. That means a lot to me and it helps the channel out tremendously. If you haven't already subscribed yet and you'd like to see more videos just like this, be sure to click the subscribe button. And if you really want to know when new videos come out, just click the bell icon. That'll give you a notification when new videos are posted. Uh, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.